What's your name? Hello, my name is Fiora. Hi, Fiora. Very beautiful girl. So, I'll be asking you uh, seven questions. Quite a number. Let's begin. My first question is... Do you think it is easy to be a model? Why or why not? I wouldn't say it's completely easy to be a model, but I would say that it's a good experience for a first-timer. Some challenges that I face along the way includes like um, learning how to do the different poses and achieving what the director wants. So I guess in that way, it's pretty challenging to like really fit the criteria. Absolutely, I agree. We've been seeing your photos everywhere. <laughs> you've done this multiple times already. I, I think over time, you've become more confident, right? Yeah. Okay, that's great to hear. My second question is, can you list not just three, but five qualities that a model should have? I think a model should be confident. Uh -huh. A model should also be committed to his or her job. A model should be someone who is brave enough to be out there, putting yourself in front of the camera and like facing a large number of audience. And a model should also be responsible and someone who takes pride in her job. Okay, wonderful. That those are very wonderful qualities. My next question is, is Can you share three challenges? I think you've mentioned one earlier yeah. already that you face when doing photo shoots. So you've mentioned one, which is uh, the poses. Mm. Can you name two more, please? I think one, another challenge that I've encountered along my way, it's learning how to really coordinate with my partner if it's like a group shot. So in the sense where like in a group, right, you really have to try to work with one another to try to achieve the desired photo. And I think the other challenge that I face along the way, it's really um, ensuring that I'm constantly in the zone. So I don't like zone out or I don't divert my attention to somewhere else. So for example, when taking a picture, you have to constantly take multiple pictures. So it's not like one shot and it's done. It's more of like really being there and like keeping your smile and the enthusiasm along the way. Absolutely. Consistency is the key, right? <laughs> All right. And question number four. Or do you think supermodels should be highly paid? Why or why not? I think it differs for like different people, but to me, I think that supermodels should be highly paid in the sense where there are people who take pride in their job and they are doing something that they love. So supermodels in the sense where they are walking, they are catwalking and stuff, and they are promoting a brand. So to be a brand ambassador itself, I think it takes a lot of courage. So I think in that sense, we kind of reward them by paying them a high amount. And given that they are also putting themselves out there on the media, and in the sense where by putting yourself out there, you may face criticism along the way. So I guess you have to take that into account in terms of like um, paying the models as a whole. Wonderful answer. Okay. Next one. Would you consider becoming a professional model when you are older? Why or why not? I'm actually interested to hear your answer here too. <laughs> As and I do hope to do modeling as a part-time job, mm -hmm. but because of my height, so like height constraint is an issue. But I do, I don't think I would ever become a professional model, but I would like to do it as like a side job kind of thing. So it's something that I find joy in and I think it's fun for me. So I would love to do it again. You're, you'll definitely pass. Actually, you're overqualified to be a model. Yeah. <laughs> you're up. All right. My next question is, What is your greatest takeaway from this modeling experience with Writers at Work? I think the greatest takeaway is really to have confidence and have faith in yourself. So the first time I came for the modeling experience last six months, like six months ago, yeah. I think um, I was quite nervous in the sense where I didn't know what to expect and I didn't know why I was selected in the first place. But I think that being selected itself, it means that whoever has selected me have faith in me to produce the best work as I can. So I think um, this like dire experience really taught me to really believe in myself and have more confidence in my abilities. Yeah, we've seen you grow and blossomed. I think that your confidence really increased and um, how would I say this? You've unleashed your potential. <laughs> Thank you. And so with that, I'll wrap it up with my last question. It's actually not a question, it's a request. 
Can you show us your favorite pose or your best model smile? Um, I don't think I really have one, but just now when I was taking a picture, they said side profile is the best. Side. So I would do like a side profile. Show it to us, please. Do I show it to the camera? Or show it to you? the camera, please. I think it's like... Wow, yes, girl. Okay, sorry, I was carried away. But thank you so much, Fiora. It's been a, a pleasure and honor to have you with us today. I hope this won't be the last time. We'll see you again. Thank you, Fiora. Bye. Bye.